Good evening to you all. Please, you all welcome to SND Professional Institute Public Sector Accounting. This is our lecture one. Okay, good. Now, this lecture is 10 marks. Okay, this lecture is 10 marks. So please pay attention to it. Love it. You are not going to do anything different from what you know. You understand? You are not going to do anything different from what you know. So the topic for today is conceptual framework. Conceptual framework and IPSAS board or introduction to IPSAS. You will love it. Trust me, you will love it. There's nothing difficult here, right? Perfect. Let's go. Now, conceptual framework. Conceptual framework. When you talk about conceptual framework, what comes in mind? When you talk about conceptual framework, what comes in mind? Please look at this structure on the screen. That's one advantage of online studies. Look at this structure on your screen. What do you see? Please, what do you see? Yes, kindly raise Hello? your hand. If, yes, please. An image. Please come in. Your name is image. good. Please, what do you see? It's an image. It's uh, an image. Image of what? Obviously. A roofing, image a roofing, of a roofing. A roofing. A roofing structure. A roofing what? Structure. structure. I like that. Who was? This was. A roofing, uh, an image of a roofing structure. Please, who was? A frame no. of a roofing structure. A frame. A frame. Please. What I want to about for the mama comment is always cool, no? Somebody says a frame of a wooden structure. Yes, who was? Somebody says that what? The picture of a perceived building structure. Another person so says what? A skeleton. I'm reading for the chat box. Another person also says what? A skeleton. Another person also says a building plan. You see you? A design. A Somebody design also of... says a design. A design. Perfect. 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 Say a framework a building. A framework. A framework. A framework. A framework. A framework. See, all these are correct, right? All what you guys have said is very correct. Okay. So somebody says it's a framework. Somebody says it's a skeleton. Somebody says it's a structure. It's a structure. One thing that was common to all the answers is what? Of a building. Framework of a building, skeleton of a building, structure of a building. Of a building. So this one, as you see here, this structure, as you see here, is somebody's concept. In somebody's word, concept. This is the image he has in mind. You understand it? So this is what he wants to build. So he first of all designed a skeleton. He designs a framework. He designs a structure. Before he goes to the field to build it. So in the course of the, of the building, if there's something wrong or there's any confusion, what does he do? He refers to the structure. He refers to the skeleton. He refers to, you understand it? He refers to the plan. Conceptual framework, concept, 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 mental picture, conceptual framework. So this is what conceptual framework is about. This accounting that you and I are practicing, you understand it? There are a set of laws that governs it. The same way you and I, we are in Ghana. Huh? We have certain laws that govern our uh, behaviors. That is how come I cannot see you on the street and shoot you. Because if I do that, I'll face the consequences of the world, of the law. And the law is the constitution. You see, the constitution is there. It is there. If there's anything, we will refer to the constitution. If my school, 
SND wants to uh, uh, design laws, if SND wants to build uh, our own bylaws, we want to formulate our own bylaws, we refer to the constitution. Our bylaws shouldn't go contrary to what is in the constitution. Therefore, the constitution serves as a what? As a framework for reference. I will always refer to the constitution when I'm even doing my own law in my house. As a father, you cannot set laws in your room that if any child does anything, you can shoot the child. You can't do that because the constitution is against that. And the constitution, you know, you have to refer to the constitution when you are forming your own laws. There's no institution that you go. That, that institution say that if you buy a car, that car should be entered as a profit. You have bought the car. No institution will tell you that the car that you have bought, no, treat it as a revenue. No institution in Ghana. No institution in the world. Why? Because this is not what the conceptual framework says. The conceptual framework says that a car no treat it as an asset. It's a constitution, is the conceptual framework that is saying that. What is a conceptual framework? It's simply theoretical principles, theory, theoretical principles. That serves as a reference when preparing financial statement, full stop. Or when you are doing financial reporting. You refer to the theoretical principles. So conceptual framework is a set of theory, theory, theoretical principles that you refer to when preparing financial statements or when you are doing financial reporting. Who stop conceptual framework? It's a set of theoretical principles that you refer to. The same way you have the structure there. Huh? You see, it's a, it's a sheet of paper, okay? That you refer to when you are building. So when you are building, you, you have a building plan. That you refer to, and that building plan is the conceptual framework of the building. That is the mental picture you have. Conceptual framework. So that's the framework that you refer to. Constitution of Ghana is the conceptual framework of all laws in Ghana because we refer to it when we are setting laws. So simple and so logic. Right? Perfect, 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 perfect. Conceptual framework conceptual framework so i'm gonna say it's a statement of generally accepted everybody has accepted it that's why we all treat building as an asset because it's a statement of generally accepted theoretical principles keyword no no i love theoretical principles i love it theoretical principles that serves as a frame of reference you said it all a frame of reference we refer to it in financial reporting Perfect. We are done. So someone will accept. So what is the rule of conceptual framework? Oh, what I said. So what is the rule of conceptual framework? It means that it is the conceptual framework that helps us to set accounting standards. It's the conceptual framework that helps us to set accounting standards. Okay? So, one, the conceptual framework establishes concepts. Say concepts. 